be back at it again with another great video today. Today, we are about to start a three day trip with some great layovers. We actually have a double tampa layover, so that's always really great. I look, I know I love the beach, I love the sun, but most likely I'll just be at this pool. I don't know. <laughs> It sounds weird. So I'll be at the pool. I'm uh, working with my classmate Josh. As you guys remember, my a couple videos ago, um, this video here, me and Josh were on a trip together. Oh, this is the one where we're in delayed in New York. That's perfect. No delays and a great trip. Uh, so yes, we are going to start our trip. So this video, I want to talk about how to manage your social life and being a flight attendant. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is finding trips that are um, conducive to your life. Um, sometimes I like to fly trips that start at 7 a.m., 6 a.m. so I can get back earlier in the day. And lately I've been flying trips that start around like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock because I've been trying to keep my gym schedule healthy. So the first thing is when managing your time is finding trips that are conducive to your life. Um, so whatever that looks like for you, but for me personally, it looks like, you know, coming to work at 1 p.m. So I can go to the gym early in the morning and get some good sleep and keep myself on my same sleeping regimen. So there we go. Let's get into this video. Boop. Okay. All right. Um, I'm already dressed. Somebody's texting me. Somebody's texting me. Um, <laughs> nobody in particular. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm mad about that. Okay. And let's get ready to go to work. I'm already dressed here. Okay. Outfit is on. Okay. A Barney suit. What's up? And then. <laughs> The barney suit my bags are already packed downstairs um i already meal prep for this trip um i'm going to get some garrett's popcorn in chicago because that's our first flight that was so weird hell came out but anyways we're gonna go from atlanta today to chicago ord if you guys are in flight attendant training these are some great things to pick up is the flight attendant airport codes atl is clear atlanta ord is chicago ord is here atlanta is here atl let's go <laughs> So laughing today i don't know what it is okay but anyway who um i'm gonna grab my work sweater because it gets cold on the plane make sure you guys are aware of that when you become a flight attendant keep a sweater with you because it gets cold on the plane um we are in the middle of the summer fake summer because it's kind of cold outside too and it's really pretty but anywho yeah um i just took my sky pro in there my, my work device so all flight attendants well i'm talking my airline we have our sky pro which is like how we manifest and look at people's so that's how we sign in. Let's have a look at people's seats and different things. So yeah, I need that. Require item passwords in my bag. I have my ID downstairs in my car. And I have my watch already on. Oh my god. I knew it was gonna fall down. My thing in my bathroom just fell down. Whatever. Okay, um, so yeah, those are my required items. I always speak about that. So we have the Sky Pro is one, watches two, passport. I have my wings on here. I'm the flight leader today, so I have my flight leader bar on. I am the flight leader. Ah, I forgot. I am for the flight leader. I forgot I'm a flight leader, but my bag has been packed from Hawaii. Make sure you guys watch the new Hawaii vlog that's about to drop. Okay. Um, so my bag is already pretty much packed from that trip. I just need to add some couple more clothes to that so I can be prepared for work. parking lot we're about to head to the airport go through security um again like i said earlier i am the flight leader today so i have to go brief with the team so usually the briefing consists is, uh, consists of some some actually I can't even see guys what it consists of basically i just say you know hey y'all my name is simone they've got required items 
y'all good okay cool this is how i want things to go you kind of like set the tone for the flight um it's really easy flight i haven't even looked at anything the lows or anything just yet but i have a really good attitude today usually every other day <laughs> my show is gum showing it ugly deal but um let's say the airport i'm doing a lot of talking so i don't want to do that <laughs> okay let's go bye y'all We are about to head to Chicago. I'm the flight leader on this flight, so I'm in the front and I'm sitting there. Let's get this day started by the side boarding, so I gotta go. See y'all later. Caramel. I said, I don't know. I'm, I want to find out if I can mix the cheese corn and the almond together. Probably. Yeah. Or the cat. Oh. <laughs> Oopsie. Nothing. All right, y'all. We're about to head to our next gate. I landed in Tampa and we are done in Tampa. Let's get into our Tampa overnight meal. All right, y'all. We have about 15 hours here in Tampa. We have 15 hours here in Tampa. We leave tomorrow. Oh, we got here at 11.23 p.m. tonight. And then we leave tomorrow at 2.23 p.m. And tomorrow we have two legs. Today was such a, it was, today was such a super easy day. We had a lot of headwind coming back from Chicago. So it kind of delayed us coming into Tampa. Not a big deal. So if you guys don't know, the flights are full. And I don't think that I'm personally accustomed to boarding with so many passengers because before it's just like half of the plane now it's like all the plane so it's just like a little bit of a deliedness and this is something you have to kind of get back used to um back to what i was saying earlier about you know making your life easier as a flight attendant um i pick up trips that that i have that my friends are working on people who i like are working that i know i can work with them my classmate josh is here so that's really good we're gonna have lunch tomorrow it's his birthday on thursday sunday so we're gonna have or Sunday, yeah. So we're gonna have some birthday lunch. But all right, y'all, let me unpack my um, let me unpack my bag and get into this video. Let's go. All right, so we just made it back to our last one of the day. And no. <laughs> and as you guys know, or if you guys don't know, we are um, not blocking our middle seat anymore. So now we have a full passenger plane. And something else I learned today is like usually the flight attendant if we had like a double jump seat, a double jump seat basically is two jump seats next to each other. And the flight attendant that's next to me, she would be sitting like in 1A or whatever, 1C. But now she's sitting like right next to me. So I was just like, girl, you supposed to be sitting here? And she really was. <laughs> so that's why it's always important to read your work rules, read your company emails because things change all the time in aviation. So yes, but she's really cool. I feel like it's kind of like back to normal, uh, just a little bit. And yeah, so let's get on this plane. We're actually running late because we have a lot of headwind. Headwind is this. I'll tell you guys what headwind is in, in one second. But we had a lot of headwind, so we couldn't really, we got here a little, a little late. And yes, so we need, we're about to start boarding and checking our equipment and our things. So let's get into this video. We are flying on the 739, and this is our galley. The galley is the kitchen's plane. Let's go. Opening all the bins. The first thing you do when you come into the on the aircraft, open all the bins, and you get it popping. <laughs> all right, y'all. We just made it to our hotel or our layover. Um, as the flight leader, as the flight leader, you sign everybody in. All right, y'all. Good morning. We're back at it again. Um, I am in uh, Tampa, Florida. Um, I've been out for a couple hours now. I went to the gym already this morning. I forgot to record it, but I went to the gym this morning. I'm trying to stay consistent. This is week three of me being in the gym, consistent, new lifestyle. Let's go. I am about to go to lunch with my coworker, Josh, and I am gonna go to work around like 2.32. I'm already dressed, as you guys can see. I have a little cute little free people. Boy. I'm gonna put some um, little flip flops on, go down, she's gonna get something to eat. So come on guys, let's go get something to eat. Um, this is one of the best ways to like 
you know, cope with being a body tenant, you know, from home, your loved ones and missing holidays and weekends is by creating healthy habits on the road. So I try to not be a slam clicker. So a slam, a slam clicker is someone or a flight attendant who comes straight to the hotel room, they slam the door, boom, and they lock the door, boom, and then they go to sleep and they stay, they stay in their room the entire um, layover. And I kind of feel like, feels like that creates a little depression because you're just always in your room. Granted, I do have my days where I'm just like, I don't want to do anything today. All I want to do is just go to sleep. And, you know, I just do that. But sometimes I need to go out, get some fresh air because we're on a plane for, you know, the hours and hours of the day in the airport. So I love getting fresh air and going out. So that's my other tip. So let's go. Oh, this is better. I failed the day. Go to the lobby. I love free people. So free and earthy. So we're in downtown Tampa. It's so beautiful out here. I just love being by the water. But this is our view for the day. A couple of hours. All right, so we are at this little place in downtown Tampa. About to eat some breakfast this morning with the good old sun vibes popping. This, where'd it go? Happy birthday, Josh. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Looks so good. All right, y'all, we just made it to the Tampa airport. We're about to head to Minneapolis. The flight is full, um, so that's not surprising. I am still working as the A, and I'm the flight leader. And I'm also flying on the Airbus 220 today, so I have my own jump seat. So on the B21, we have four jump seats, one left, two right, three left, and four left in the back. So, Let's go to work. It's an easy day. Tampa to MSP, MSP to Atlanta, or Tampa. And we'll be over again in Tampa again today, but at a short hotel over. Let's go to work. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Thank you, and leave nice comments. Thanks. Thanks. All right, y'all, we just made it to Minneapolis. Cheesy flight, I'm going back on the same plane, so no plane changes today. We'll let caterers do their thing, and the cleaners do their thing, and then go back to Tampa, and then we are done for the day. Let's go home. Let's lay our layover. I just really want to know where all these people came from. How have we been so busy, or not so busy, and so empty on planes, and now, we're like super duper busy and super cool. It's kind of like weird, but I'm happy to see it back. That goes to show that we're gonna have some growth. Before we start hiring soon, because I need to get moved up in senior work. Yeah, I'm at the bottom of the bottom. So, we're missing senior work, do like now. 
All right, we're about to head back to Tampa and lay over in Tampa. We're gonna be at the short hotel tonight. We're gonna be by the airport because it's under 15 hours. So it's considered that airport layover hotel. So let's go back to work. Bye. All right, y'all. This is day two of three. We just made it from Tampa to Minneapolis. Minneapolis to Tampa. Now we're back in Tampa. We're in a hotel and we are here. So let's go. Let's get into this video. I'm tired and have to be up at 11 30 in the morning. All right, y'all. We just made it to our layover. Let's do a quick room tour. So you have a full leaf mirror right here when you walk in. This is the room's front door. We're going to check for killers and cleanliness, like always. So they gave us a closet here. Okay. Then we have a king size bed here. Actually, a really nice hotel bathroom. You have a walk in shower. Let's make sure we have some hot water. Quickly. Take a minute for the hot water to warm up. Okay, the water is good. Put your sink here. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Size bed here. Checking for bed bugs. Pillows gotta go. I like a lot of pillows. I don't see any bugs in here, so we're good. All right, I'll see y'all in the morning. We have a quick 12 hours here, but that 12 hours is meant for sleeping. I'll see y'all at 11.30. Here we go, let's go. All right, y'all, good morning from my hotel. We are in Tampa and today's go home day. But last night, um, it was dark outside, so I couldn't show you guys the view. This hotel is super cute for a short layover. Okay. This is so, water is just so relaxing. Um, like I said before, I'm always like, trying to choose layovers that are connected to my lifestyle when it means like just being by the water and being by the beach or a pool. Something that's relaxing because our job is kind of stressful and if you make it, but we sign up for perks. We want the perks and these are the perks. Hotel room layover. Hotel room layover. I don't know why I keep saying that. This is the hotel <laughs> with the sunlight popping. Um, yes. All right, y'all. Just like that, we are dressed and we are ready to go to work. Like I said earlier, today is go home day and we are in Tampa and we're going home, 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 home. I was supposed to go jet skiing this morning. I forgot about it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry to see people jet skiing right now. I'm sorry. I was supposed to be jet skiing. I should have went, but whatever. Okay, we are going to LaGuardia and we have a three hour sit in LaGuardia. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some Junior's Cheesecake from the American side. Mm, activate it. I didn't work out today because I didn't have it in me, but today's a rest day. I'm gonna work out tomorrow and get it popping. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms in the world. All right, baby, let's get back into the video. I'm already dressed. I already have my, you know what's so funny? I have my own camera and I don't record my camera that much only because this camera actually doesn't have any memory on it because I use it all. And I have my other USD cards at home. Um, my face or my toiletry bag, I put it right back in my bag. My bag looks really neat actually for what is given. So yes, let's head to work. Well, we have about two hours before we have to go downstairs. So I'm gonna go downstairs, it's about the pool. Like I said earlier, we are going to or we're gonna go from Tampa to LaGuardia, LaGuardia to Atlanta. We have a three hour sit, but nothing that's not crazy. We are going to pack our bags and then head downstairs to go to the van. Um, our report time downstairs is 11.30. Right now it's 11.12. I like to be downstairs 10 minutes prior, so 11.20. So let's finish this packing and so go. My bag's already packed. Let's zip this up so my laptop won't fall out. Is here. My lunch bag is here. You guys know I like to check my bed for any items I may have left in here in the bathroom. Let's do that. Last night, so it's nothing in the sheets. I need my water and my charger. Make sure you guys stay hydrated. This is definitely a five to ten key. Drink a lot of water because you need to. Okay. 
All right. I'm gonna grab my work badge and put it on. Boop. I'm going in the bathroom. It's nothing in here. Nothing in the little cubby hole. Nothing over here, nothing over here. It's just me and this LED mirror. Hey y'all. Okay. All right, let's go to work. But look, they're outside jet skiing. I was supposed to go, I really want to go jet skiing this morning. And I told my coworkers, let's go. I, I should've got up early and did it. I was playing games. Next time, next time, next time. My work shoes on. When you have a dress, you have to wear heels or two inch is. There we go. That's just me in the corner. All right, this is my work bag, little purse. I have a book in here. Oh yeah, so this is our market, our flight fuels now. So we give this to the passengers to see what they want, super convenient. And these are all the beverages that we have. Oop. Come on, glare. All right. This is the Tampa airport. It's not super busy. Usually this airport is really busy, but it's not that busy. But I know our flight is full today, so let's get into our safety checks. Let's do the Tampa airport. We have like an hour before we have to start boarding. Um, so let's get into it. We just got some food from this little place right here. It's like a little snacky snack snack before we start our trip. All right, y'all, we are flying on the 20 today. We're going to 20. I am in the front, like I said, like I've been on this whole trip. Um, so let's go to New York. So New York is really big about having their bags, but as a flight attendant, you have to be prepared and aware and wants to prepare. So when it comes to bags getting full, we're gonna, we're gonna communicate with the gate agents to like knock all that out today because we're gonna have a smooth boarding process and a smooth taking off process, okay? So be aware as a flight attendant. <laughs> but today is go home day, like I said earlier, so let's go home, which is just emergency equipment and go home. All right, y'all. To it. Emergency equipment is here, it's placarded. This is my jump seat. I'm sitting by myself today. No, I'm not. I have a flight that's next to me today. And this is my items that we have to check. Make sure we have our beverages and wipes and go items. So let's go. All right, we just made it to the New York airport. And now we're about to get some cheesecakes. We had to go get on a whole different terminal bus to get there. So now it's coming. And we have to go, cause Josh ain't playing. All right, we just made it to Terminal B. Take a Junior's cheesecake. Let's go. Look how nice our terminal is. Why can't our terminal be like this? It's really nice here. Mm. Oh, okay, this is really, it's really nice. Look at the chandelier or whatever this is. Even their KCM is better than ours. Oh, this is this airport is popping. Where have we been at? Okay. <laughs> it's so new. <laughs> this airport is so nice. Oh, they have burrito bowls. Oh, I want pizza. Look. I want everything. The main reason why we came over here was to get Junior's cheesecake. They got food too. All right, we got our lunch today popping. Some pizza and the salad. Top to pay. All right, y'all. So we are in the New York airport and we have about a three hour sit here. So me and my crew decided to come to Terminal B, which is a new terminal and it's super nice in here. It's like better than our terminal. <laughs> but I know they're like making it, remaking our, remodeling ours as well. So the mission was to really get Junior Cheesecake. This is my good friend. Um, so this is my pizza guy. Our, our, our terminal side and American's terminal like, side. Y'all tell me, the, don't. <laughs> y'all tell me the difference. <laughs> I know. All right, y'all. We got like an hour to make it to our gate. We're really nice. We made it to our gate. We are late boarding because the cleaners just got off. I swear, this is like a flight attendant. Anytime you're trying to go down to the plane, the agents are like right behind you asking, "You ready to board?" 
Girl, we just got on a plane. Give us a minute to clean the plane and verify we have everything that we have. Like a little flight attendant being rushed when you're actually on time. Let's go to work. See y'all in Atlanta. Hey, hey, now you on the channel. Hey, what's poppin'? And make sure you follow her too. Follow me ah! on the internet. Okay, perfect, you heard that. <laughs> All right, y'all, we just made it back to Atlanta from our three day trip. I had a great, awesome crew. And I think it's really important to have a great crew that you work with that keep you Grounded. It's, it's really, it's just really good to have a great crew. My crew was super good. Um, I just want to thank my crew. They were just so amazing. <laughs> the trip was so good. It didn't really feel like a three-day trip, which makes it all worth being a flight attendant. So those are my pros of being a flight attendant. Let's go home. You guys are watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this video.